Hi, I'm Scott Stein. Now, you may have remembered at CNET that we've taken a look at the Avigant technology, which is virtual retinal display on your face. Now, CES is here, and the Avigant Glyph has emerged, which takes a headset and combines it with virtual retinal display. Where is it? It's actually inside these headphones, right on the top band here. If you fold this down, there is an eyepiece that goes right over my face. And I can adjust the diopters and look at 1280 by 800 resolution uh, video that actually looks a lot better because it's using Texas Instruments based DLP technology to project right on my retina looking a lot more vibrant and a lot more crisp than a screen. This is a Kickstarter project that's going to be sold for $4.99 and this is the latest alpha design of what the Glyph looks like. And there's really nothing else I've seen that matches this type of design because it's not a goggle that goes over your face alone. It's actually meant to fold up and be more discreet like giant headphones. Obviously in this mode you're going to look like a cyborg, but when you fold it up it kind of looks like a big set of headphones and it's going to look smaller in later iterations before it's released. And there are controls over here to adjust the volume. There's a Bluetooth head control technology inside which can work potentially with games and the connection is HDMI so it not only does it work with your iPhone or your Android device to play any video on there like you would with an HDMI connection, you can use HDMI 1.4 to connect for 3D content on Blu-ray players or whatever else you have that plays 3D content like games. This is one of several new interesting technologies that are coming out. I haven't seen virtual retinal display because this is the first of its kind and take a look at it at CES. It is definitely eye-catching and unfortunately with my really horrible prescription, it doesn't quite work for me right yet, but it is made to work with a variety of prescriptions and the nose pieces and everything else will be adjusted so there could be hope for you too, severely myopic person. Now, if you want part of the Avigant Glyph, the Kickstarter campaign starts January 22nd and they can be available to you if you're interested in exploring a headset that's really more about entertainment than it is virtual reality, but it still could potentially do that stuff in the future. I'm Scott Stein with a look at the Avigant Glyph, which is currently on my head.